My name is Jeremy and I wanted to do a quick review on Bellevue University. I recently graduated with an MBA with a concentration in executive coaching and human capital management. I started June 2018 and I finished a few weeks ago. Initially, I was supposed to be done a few months ago, but I added on the human capital management concentration at the last minute. You don't have to do a concentration, but I just decided to do executive coaching and human capital management. I received my undergraduate degree, my Bachelor of Science through Bellevue University. So this is about four years that I've been attending Bellevue University and I've had a, a great experience. I love the professors as they are helpful, um, knowledgeable in their area. They, for the most part, had Doctor, I believe everybody, well, no, I take that back. Majority of the professors had, all of the professors had at least a master's degree with a lot of experience, which for me, as long as my professor had a graduate degree and experience in the subject that they're teaching, a PhD to me, it really didn't, you know, it didn't sway me either way. But um, for the most part, all of my professors, except for maybe like one or two, one or two didn't have their PhD. The classes are challenging. Right? And again, I got my MBA. I love the fact that there are so many resources available to help you. I love the fact that the professors have dedicated classroom time or office hours as many institutions require that they do have that. I felt like I was able to get a lot out of my degree and be able to apply it immediately to what was happening in uh, at work. In fact, a lot of times the conversations that I was able to have was um, not with my next level manager, but typically my director, if that makes sense. Because the information that I was exposed to and what I gained from the degree was very, how can I say, um, corporate level, company level, organizational level, and typically at an individual contributor level or a frontline manager level, you don't typically have those conversations about strategy and process. You know, it's more tactical or more operational than anything. But when I can go to my director or my vice president and say, hey, can you tell me about the scorecard that you guys use when uh, moving a location and or starting a new location or considering to bring a supplier into the supply chain and have an effective conversation or a well-rounded conversation, that lets me know that I've grown a lot within this program. My favorite classes were the human capital management, uh, the executive coaching, the strategy, the capstone. That was pretty cool. Um, let's see. And obviously my coaching, I think I said that. But those people-related courses, the finance-related courses were mm, mm, not my friend especially the operations and logistics class. That one was a doozy. I'm glad that I got a tutor because that was a very, very, that was probably the most difficult thing that I've ever done in my life. That was a challenging course, but I learned a lot from it. Um, what else? The books are not included, which can be expensive. The financial aid process was seamless. Um, Graduation both times was pretty fun. I'm glad that I did it before COVID happened. Um, yeah, I, I, I cannot say that I had any bad experiences. In fact, when I didn't put my best foot forward in class, my professors challenged me, which was kind of like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I actually had a professor make me turn in another paper because they were like, in so many words, they said it more professional, but I knew what they were saying. They pretty much said that this was trash and you got to get it together. And I'm going to give you a chance to redo your paper because I know that you can do better than this. And I'm super thankful because 
one, I totally stepped up my game. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Um, and I'm very thankful that that professor did it. I, I would not, I didn't receive that bad. I, I didn't receive anything um, negatively of that. I just knew that that individual or that professor knew what I was capable of and they didn't accept anything less than. Um, the professors are, super, are very encouraging. My academic advisor um, stayed in touch every time that, you know, classes were rolling around. Um, it seemed like she knew me, even though we didn't have many conversations. I guess she kind of watched me or my grades and saw that I was doing pretty well. So she gave me some encouragement when I was struggling in that operations and logistics class. Oh my gosh, that was a horrible class. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. The only thing that I would change, and this is in comparison to a different university that I'm going to now, is the, which is not bad, but it's kind of a hassle, logging into so many different systems. You log into Blackboard for class, and then you log into your student portal for financial aid, for um, your transcripts, for um, your progress in your course for so many different things, as well as you log into your um, the library for something at, or for a, with a different login. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so if they could find a way to compile everything into one login and then format it in a way to where it's not overwhelming. And, and they can do it in a way where it was in app format, it would be perfect, right? Um, outline, and then one other thing, I like that my last, one of my last professors opened up all of the assignments at one time so I could kind of work ahead and read ahead and kind of prepare for assignments versus only being able to access one week at a time. I like that. They did set proper expectation to not post anything prior to um, when the week was, when it was that specific week. But uh, yeah, I like that. So that was the only change that I would have. Um, from a financial aid perspective, I use a combination of financial aid and tuition assistance. I do feel like it's somebody who went to a, a more prestigious college if we were to interview for the same thing, I feel like I would have just as good of a chance to uh, demonstrate that I am a, an ideal or qualified candidate for whatever I'm interviewing for, even with them going to a more prestigious college. The tuition or the cost was not that bad, especially in comparison to some of my friends who have gone to other classes or other colleges. Um, School is expensive, but I felt that it was worth the investment. Uh, would I specifically do an MBA? Uh, I think it would be important for you to use some type of tool or assessment to tell you or suggest to you the field in which your interest and or your personality type would be, best be suited for. Um, so that way you don't go through a program that you're not too uh, happy about because it will help you enjoy the program more. It will help you engage more. With that being said, would I have done the MBA had I done the assessment? Um, yeah, actually I would. I thought I was going to say no, but I would. And the reason that I would is because I feel that based on my experience through Bellevue University and this program that I could be dropped in any part of the business and be able to hit the ground running, you know? And of course, all of this is based on how an individual applies themselves in their class. So yeah, take that into context. What else? The finance classes were challenging, but there is software available to help you through it if you decide to go with the MBA. Um, They have a cohort model, which takes one class at a time. That is, that's not bad. Um, I would actually encourage you to do that, especially if you're working full time and you have um, family, that would be something good. 
And I think that's it. Would I recommend Bellevue University to a family or friend? Absolutely. It is regionally accredited, which was perfect. And the MBA program that I went to was has the stamp of approval through IACBE, I think it is, the International Association for something, um, which was good. And I feel like I got a quality education. So I would definitely recommend Bellevue University to anyone. And it doesn't have to be for a business related program, anything, because it's a quality institution. And yeah, best of luck. Reach out if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, enjoy your day.